basically basically uh, right here uh, down with this with this work right here in this area uh, it's not uh, completely perfect but you know comparison what it was you know it's a little bit better um, right here I fix all that and uh, basically all that uh, spots that you see that right there around the edges is basically sand that I put with uh, some uh, uh, this uh, uh, Sika level uh, 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 it's like silicone or something like that and you know the work is, is basically doing very very good I like it you know I raised these areas right here and as you guys can see I feel everything on top with this uh, special silicone over there right there all around that that all the excess you guys can see is just basically uh, some extra sand I put I have to remove I just gotta sweep it out and it's gonna look uh, different but uh, this one it was really really messed up comparison uh, how it looks now well it's a big huge difference also right right over here uh, as you guys remember this area was basically sunk right over there and that one I was able to lift it with uh, the uh, jacks as you guys see it's very very nice completely neat right here and it's getting a little bit better uh, you know this area right here well I tried to lift it but the problem was that it looks like uh, for some reason this concrete right here this area was uh, uh, basically too close to this one and somehow when I try to raise it I couldn't I know if I use maybe a, a diamond blade and I cut it through the area probably I'm gonna be able to lift it the same thing right here uh, I try to lift this one and uh, I lift it basically <laughs> the only problem was look at that I, I crack this and you know well sometimes you learn from the mistakes uh, the uh, jack was so strong basically can lift 20 tons and I put it underneath I lifted it, yes but the problem was that you know the final uh, uh, final process was that I cracked this thing right here and now I'm gonna fix this I have to put some concrete hey I don't put some concrete in this area um, and I was following some advices from uh, uh, basically I can call a friend I got from PA and uh, I, I'm very thankful to my guy in Pennsylvania uh, Mike that you know gave, uh, gave me basically some advices through his videos basically and I put everything in practice and you know I'm very happy with it you know it, it doesn't look like you know the, the most beautiful thing but uh, you know it's like he said this is patches you know I'm patching this right now because uh, unfortunately I have to do the roof of my house and as you guys can see I got a two-family house it's huge and well I spent a lot of money doing that fix and then suddenly uh, my insurance company told me I gotta fix the uh, basically trip hazards and you know uh, I'm doing little by little I try to hire a, co a hire a company to to raise it up but uh, they said that uh, it was basically impossible for them to do it for some reasons and you know I decided me and my family to do it myself right now uh, uh, honestly this is just a patch for basically this year just to cover this probably next year or the following up all depends how is my economy I'm gonna try to get uh, all this done in uh, could be cement uh, number five I think it is I know it's commercial grade five grade cement or I'm gonna get stone one of the two I'm just thinking which is gonna be the best but uh, basically I have to remove all this concrete from this area and basically use a compactor I heard some guys told me 6,000 uh, pounds compactor in order to make this uh, real good and if I don't want these problems again um, well I don't know well they know better than me you know I just doing this job and basically following the advices the way my friend Mike do it in Pennsylvania according to the weather right here I'm preparing this uh, cement and uh, always wet and using uh, extra bond uh, adhesive uh, uh, I get in Home Depot 
in order to put these together uh, so far you know it's like i told you guys uh, the color i don't care about the color the thing right here is basically just to fix this for the insurance company and so far it looks nice you guys can see the difference right here between this one and this one and basically this one i gotta fix is just a little bit not that much this one is no problem with this one is this one is level i get this this guy in, in home depot i love it guys uh, if you guys want one of these guys my god this is the most powerful tool i ever had in this kind of uh, 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 work uh, this um, angled uh, uh, grinder is amazing from the world and I love it I'm gonna put the links below if you guys wanna get this guy but this is super powerful I got a 9 volts battery right here and this battery is been working since yesterday and I not even lose let me see if uh, you guys gonna be able to see this look at that guy just only one line and I was doing basically all this area right here basically all uh all this right here with this blade uh, also this blade i'm gonna put the links below if you guys are interested in this with this one you guys can basically uh remove the excess look at this right here you guys see the different in color well this one is just to put it even with this one as uh, you guys can see let me see if you guys can see the, the difference right here yeah you guys can see it it's basically uh just remove the excess to put it even with this other side right here and uh I like it right here I did it also in this area right here I'm doing this one look at how how clean is doing that crack right there I'm cleaning this crack before I fill this with the uh, cock I, I, uh, I'm telling you guys and I'm gonna put some cement on top of that one right here I use this uh, uh, the grinder and you guys can see it right here make it a little bit level it's not perfect like I told you guys but it's gonna be good enough for insurance company as soon as the guys see it, it's gonna be a big, big, big difference. And like I told you guys, probably next year, uh, all depends uh, how is the economy. If everything is doing good, I'm gonna pay for do a better job because you know right here, uh, I get a different offers to to do this job, and uh, it's between the three to four thousand dollars. But I heard if I wanna do something good, something for the years to come, permanent. And got no troubles at all i have to spend between five thousand to seven thousand dollars something like that and you know i prefer to do it one shot and do something good and finish with this look right here guys i'm gonna record this uh, uh after this video and i'm gonna put it together but look at that right there i got about two inches and right here the thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna do the same thing i did right over there from here all the way to the bottom well not to the bottom maybe as uh, uh until you guys see the uh the difference uh maybe by that crack over there you guys see the crack right there and i'm gonna go level this maybe two maybe one feet and a half something like that distance and put the same height and you know then after that i'm gonna put some uh uh i'm gonna use the cock to protect that because it looks like Believe it or not, guys, these these edges right here, this well, is there. Look at this. It used to be some uh, kind of uh, 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 these spacers. I forgot the name of this uh, expansion joint. Yeah, that's the expansion joint, and uh, but it's uh, an old one. And as you guys can see right here, it looks like a <laughs> I don't know how, but this vanish. Basically, you guys can see all all the uh, basically. Uh, uh, you know grass and everything growing up over there and uh, that's not good because the problem is if you guys notice you know all the water and everything is going there and it's getting wet underneath of these and thus causing basically all this uh, huge slab uh, s uh, going down because the humidity I think that's why uh, I, honestly I got no idea but I, I, one thing I know is when uh, when the uh, expansion joint is not working no more and you don't have good protection in the edges you start losing basically that slab and that thing happened right over here it was my mistake i should fix this before this happened but i didn't and right now well i gotta do this i'm gonna finish this crack right here and i'm gonna show you guys how i'm gonna fix this i'm gonna use 
first uh, <clears throat> put a little bit of uh, you guys can see right there that's the uh, sand uh, plum uh, uh, how to call this thing is the uh, um, the mason's uh, sand I'm gonna use that a little bit just a little bit on top of that and or uh, I'm gonna put this uh, cock and on top of the cock I'm gonna put some mortar pure mortar on top of that and I'm gonna mix it right there all around I'm gonna put some uh, uh, some bonding uh, solution all around this and you guys will see how it looks like uh, so far this thing is very very strong guys I know the uh, uh, this is motor uh, uh, fast setting uh, motor from Home Depot and well the basically specification says that I, you're supposed to get half inch up to six inches and well, right over here, I don't think I got a half inch. I, uh, <laughs> right there, you know, it's, it's basically nothing. It's, it's basically, well, I, I don't even know, but uh, it's, it's, it's something really, really small. But believe me, guys, this is super, super strong. Uh, you know, you try to touch that thing, and it's, it's real, real hard for your hands. And guys, well, so far it's working. You know, if you guys want to do something like that just to fix situation you guys probably have the thing I got right now just is something for the moment like my friend in PA it says this is a patch and probably this patch can last maybe a year maybe six months whatever it lasts but you know um, you know uh, it's gonna be something uh, temporary uh, before I hire a company to do it professionally uh, but so far well I'm, I'm, I'm not you know I'm happy with it uh, I liked these uh, uh, advices I got from my friend in PA. Saved me right now a couple of uh, thousand dollars so far this year because I got no way to pay that money right now. And you know, just a couple of bags of I'm gonna show you guys the cement I'm using. And uh, I'm telling you guys, this is uh, the easiest way. This is the cement I'm using, mortar mix. Um, this is fast and dry this is basically cement it one thing i'm gonna let you know guys and this is the sand you know the multi-purpose sand and also i got a bag of gravel to fill it up with some stuff also let me show you what else i got right here um this is the um the uh, new expansion you're not using uh the, the one i got right here let me show you guys uh before i continue with the other thing i was ready to show you guys this is the Sika right here this one right here it's a three-quarter closed cell back around and that's the one I use and you can get this one in Home Depot also guys you can get a cheaper prices if you guys go to Amazon Amazon is cheaper basically but take longer than I needed the basically the work for uh, basically right away and uh, this is the uh, thing I use them right here uh, self-leveling sealant from Sika and as I heard is one of the best ones now let me show you right here guys uh, right over here you guys can see I got basically if I I put that amount right there because the nice thing with this thing look the finish I'm oh, sorry the finish <clears throat> not even looks like a, it's this guy the finish looks like a rock and let me strip it out uh, that, that sand got over there around probably a week and you know we didn't uh, we didn't uh, uh, sweep it out just to let it rest but let me show you guys how is how do this looks like hold on let me try to sweep this thing out and <laughs> I learned this from my friend from PA and you know the nice thing about this this thing is it looks almost like the old stuff and basically you put it on and guys believe it or not uh, I got a huge huge crack in here and it's not it's, you guys not even notice the crack all all this area right here maybe you see this this right here and if you touch it you can feel like a, you know like a you know like a bumpy like uh, something like uh, I don't know you guys can see I can push it in a little bit but 
the camouflage he got is nice because he get lost between you know the wall and the cement and as soon as I sweep it out all this it's gonna look very very nice now right here I did the same thing let me sweep it out this one just remove it with my hand it looks like a, I don't know you guys can feel well now it's more harder but this is basically the same level level there right here and but it's completely uh, you know now it's, it's hard to tell I gotta sweep it out all these and you know now if you guys some guys like to use it like a, the one I got right here but uh, let me show you guys honestly basically this is the uh, product without the sand this is the Sika you see this is the pure Sika right here without the sand and to be honest with you eh, I don't like this finish uh, you know it looks like too I don't know man I don't know uh, as you guys can see it looks like a piece of plastic it's very strong I like it very good but the finish I don't like uh, if we use the sand for me I think the sand is better because look at this you just clean this out like that and the sand is also make it a little bit stronger and more rough and look at that look at this just just let's remove this I don't know for me the finish looks better that's that's my own opinion you know everybody's different um, but for me the finish looks better right there with that and uh, also right right here like I told you guys this all depends you know it's a different solution I'm gonna do the same thing right here you know well basically right here I did something I mistake something uh, I'm not gonna use the sand in this little gap because basically the gap is too little the thing I'm gonna do is gonna finish here with the grinder making the, the uh, crack bigger and cleaning this area I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna clean this right now I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do it and as soon as I finish I'm gonna put the uh, glue and after the glue I'm going to use cement on top of that one and you guys will see the difference how it's gonna look like and uh, I'm gonna use the strategy my friend from PA uh, Mike uh, use with some uh, uh, with a couple of uh, this dirt right here I'm gonna get a bucket uh, 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 a bucket be with a uh, uh, some uh, kind of mud and water and I'm gonna mix it all with a brush and I'm gonna brush it we're gonna do a some kind of finish that is gonna make it looks like is this same stuff right here or also you know we can do that uh, or we can do the sand right here we're gonna try both of those and I'm gonna do that right now guys and let's see how it looks like 